Got a lot of new stuff you guys probably should know about, including this. Purdue Farms recalls 167,000 pounds of chicken. That's a lot of chicken that could be in your refrigerator or freezer. And I think more people need to pay attention to stuff like this. For instance, these signs that are right on these towers that are in our communities and all over the place now. This is a small 5G cell tower. Wait, then you go down, exposure can cause heart issues, flu-like symptoms, muscle aches, nervous system problems. Yeah, wait till I read the rest of that sign. And this is turning into be a bigger, bigger issue and it's getting bigger by the day. These are what we're gonna be now calling illegal criminal aliens. Big buzz about some of the folks that have been coming across from South America, involved in gangs, creating havoc in Florida, Colorado, and many other places. Up, and here's another one, $12 million cliff bar class action settlement. I'll tell you more about that. And folks, breaking. According to GPS tracking data, at least 53,000 foreign Antifers and 21,000 domestic Antifers, Antifers, you know what I mean, already gathering in Chicago to create chaos for you know what. As I said, a bunch of new stuff you guys should probably know about coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Okay guys, lots to catch up on. Not sure if you guys have ever done yard sales, but we've been purging a lot of stuff, and man, is it a lot of work. And it's had me pretty consumed over the last few days. But what have we missed? I wanna show you a couple things that have been brought to my attention. This, for one, like we're all running around with cell phones and everything. I'm not sure about you guys, but I actually turned off my 5G on my phone and I run off of LTE. I think that it's better. I've done a little bit of research and definitely feel safer doing that. But check this sign out. Warning, this is a 5G small cell tower. The signals emitted by the tower are damaging to humans, animals, and plants. Okay, this is apparently a sticker right on a sign in an urban area. It also says damaging exposure can occur up to several hundred feet from this device. Now folks, I'm not sure if you've seen this, but I've actually seen these things mounted on tops of apartment complexes. It says that the frequencies emitted by the device can be high as much as 100 gigahertz and exceed recommended FCC exposure limits. Now wait until we go through what the exposure can cause. And how in the heck, when I build our place, I have to get permits to make sure things are safe, that our things are within certain parameters. How is it that this can be so damaging, so bad essentially for people, but yet they can throw them right up in neighborhoods and everything like that, and then just throw a sign on there and says, oh, by the way, this is this bad for you. This sticker says exposure can cause headaches, insomnia, cognitive fog, fatigue, tinnitus, vision problems, heart issues, right? Flu-like symptoms, muscle and nervous system problems. So it's being reported all over the place that these are the types of signs that are on these 5G towers. And these things are actually like just dropped right into neighborhoods, apartment complexes. And another reason why I don't pack my phone around with me everywhere that I go. If I gotta do some research or if I gotta make a call, text, whatever, I do it and then I just leave it behind. Now I'm not sure, you could probably deep dive this and I have a little bit in the past, but I just wanted to guys make, make you guys aware that this is actually posted on these poles in communities. You can see in this picture right here that there's a house or a complex just behind this picture alone. So keep that in mind. Anyways, moving right along, another big thing, breaking news. Purdue recalls 167,000 pounds of chicken nuggets after consumers find metal wire in some packages. Right here on Newsbreak, it says, New York, check your freezer. Purdue Foods is recalling more than 167,000 pounds of frozen chicken nuggets and tenders after some consumers reported finding metal wire embedded in the products. According to the Purdue and the U.S. Agriculture Department Food Safety and Inspection Services, the recall covers select lots and three products, Purdue breaded chicken tenders, butcher box organic chicken breast nuggets, and Purdue Simply Smart 
organic breaded chicken breast nuggets. If you're like me and have a bunch of kids, oftentimes there's chicken nuggets in the freezer. Anyway, if you guys wanna double check that, here is some extra information, some numbers, some phone numbers to call, saying that Purdue is offering full refund on that stuff. It says foreign objects con contamination is one of the top reasons for food recalls in the US today. Just last November, Tyson Foods recalled nearly 30,000 pounds of chicken nuggets after consumers also found metal pieces in the dinosaur shaped products, which I'm sure half of you guys didn't even know happened. Beyond metal, plastic fragments, rocks, bits of insects, and more, extraneous metals have prompted recalls by making their way into packaged goods. Guys gotta be on your toes these days. And hang tight, I've got another big recall that just happened here coming right up. But first, apparently some South America border crosser immigrant gangs have been creating havoc in Florida. Big surprise, right? Hello folks, thank you very much for being with us today. We have with us uh, Brandon Sheely from FDLE and Eric Ross from the Statewide Prosecutor's Office. And once again, when we do these investigations, we do them with multiple agencies because it crosses multiple jurisdictions. I'll spare you 34 minutes of that speech, but you can see that they're calling this a South American theft group, which I'll go into some more even. Apparently this group is burglarizing homes across six Florida counties. You can see the counties right there in Florida, but they're calling them illegal criminal aliens. And folks, there's tens of millions of new people that came across, and I'm sure there's a big portion that are like this including another group that I'm gonna tell you about. On other posts, it says breaking, according to GPS tracking data, at least 53,411 foreign Antifa and 21,034 domestic Antifa are already gathering in Chicago to create chaos during the upcoming event that you guys know about. We are on Washington and Wabash outside of the Garland building, which houses a, a number of businesses, including uh, stores, and some restaurants and offices. Now, as you can see behind me, you'll notice that the front of the, uh, the Garland building is covered in plywood. It's basically covering the windows and the door. And that's to be able to protect the building and I should say the entrance of the building from any potential uh, unrest that could happen uh, ahead of the, uh, you know, once the DNC does come around here since we are anticipating some protests to uh, take place. Now, the Chicago Board of Services says their crews have been busy the last few days boarding up businesses to get ahead of potential damages. Now, so far, they've secured 12 locations around the West Loop, downtown and Daily Plaza area, with plans to board up additional businesses this weekend as a preventative measure if protests related to the DNC erupt violently. Now, I'm not sure you guys have seen boarded up sections of city like this, but I have. Just across the mountains, I've been in the once beautiful downtown Seattle area, and it is a whole different game there now. And our current bigger town close to me is actually turning into this drug infested, boarded up window type of area. I mean, we used to go over there down to Pike Street Market. And no joke, the last time I actually went down there, we stay in a different area now, but so many of the buildings and shops were boarded up. Big cities with events coming up like that's coming up should be prepared on some things getting a little bit exciting. I like what this guy says. I am curious as to what GPS data are you referring to and how does one get that data, right? Some people writing in here saying that they're already planning on bussing this group in. So moral of the story, if you guys are in Chicago, Seattle, some of these bigger cities, California, Florida, and so many more, be prepared for things to pick up and get a little bit chaotic for reasons you know why. Now, back in the day, I have had Cliff Bars and I wouldn't say they're my favorite, but I'm sure they're pretty popular for people that do outdoor stuff and need something on the go. So with that, if you guys are reading labels in which you should be, there's problems. Consumers could benefit from 12 million from Cliff Bar Settlement, purchase bars with exaggerated nutritional claims. The settlement benefits consumers who purchase certain Cliff Bars products between April 19th, 2014, and March 31st, 2023. 2014 all the way to 2023. That's a long time 
if what they're doing is lying on the ingredients. And yeah, we go read the ingredients to figure out what the heck we're getting, right? And then we find out that we've they've been lying about it or exaggerating it, different word, since 2014. I guess that I can say that I definitely got foobarred because I've had them since 2014. And then there's another big batch from 2019 to 2023. Most of these things are being California and New York residents. Some of the things that have been exaggerated. Nutrition for sustained energy and Cliff Kids Z bars bearing the claims that there was no high fructose corn syrup. Ouch, that's a big one. Nourishing kids in motion and other similar claims. Holy smokes, the, the high fructose corn syrup alone. So on top class actions, they talk about how much money you can get if you're wanting to jump in on that. Big thing you guys should know about that this is happening more and more often and goes a long way to either get your own very reliable stuff from farmers or grow it yourself or at least know about the companies that are selling things because even though you think that you're eating some good stuff, if it's part of the big circle out there, profit over people and they don't have your best interest in mind. Wanted to rattle those ones off to you so you guys were aware. I have been crazy busy with this yard sale, but that's behind me now. Got a lot more good information coming your way this week. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please share if you found this information valuable. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.